Hello, I am your Oscars Oracle. Someone's probably already using that name, but I'm not going to Google it because it's not my job to know what's happening now. It's my job to know what will happen in the future. Now, in the past, I've tried to use tea leaves. I've tried to use dice. I've even tried cartomancy to predict what will win best picture at the Oscars. And I will admit that so far my predictions have not come true. But today I've got an even better method. I'm going to use bibliomancy or the magic of books. I'm going to be using what is specifically called the one book method. Now that would traditionally be done with the Bible, but I've got my Bible, Finishing the Hat by Stephen Sondheim. This is already a very magical book. It's infused with all the energy and witticism and love and craft of Stephen Sondheim, who worked a magic all his own. But as with any attempt at divination, you do need to infuse the object that is being used with your energy, with your spirit, with your um, joie de vie. So, mm. That was creepy. All right, now I will ask my book, this book, my question, so that it knows what to answer. What film will win Best Picture at the Oscars in 2025? Now I am going to let the book fall open to whatever page it wants. Just gonna thumb through it, not looking, not looking, just you know, opening it a little bit so that. You know, it's a heavy book, it could just fall and uh, not open, okay? It fell and didn't open, okay, let's try that again. We're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna help things along a little, just, we'll open it a crack, again, not looking. We'll open it a crack on some random page and then hopefully that'll... Okay, it's open this time. Now, using my patented method of bending down, I will retrieve the book. I'll show it to you guys. I haven't even seen it. I can't see it on my camera, by the way. I can't, I can't see. So um, I haven't looked at it yet, but this is, this is the page it fell onto. Now I'm going to let my intuition, that, that famous skill that I possess in droves, to uh, guide my eye to some sentence or phrase or just, you know, a couple of words, whatever. Just the first thing I see on the page, and that will be the basis for my prediction. So it's a little bit like tarot, you know, you don't get a full answer, you get something that helps you interpret. All right, let me, let me look and uh, see what my eye is drawn to. I am in a tree. That is, that is the sentence I saw, I am in a tree. Okay, now this is everyone's favorite bit. I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to look up what films have been released so far and what films will be released this year, and then I'm going to use I Am In A Tree to get the answer to what will win Best Picture, okay? Okay, we're back. I surveyed the list of films coming out in 2024, um, and there were actually a couple of candidates that I thought sort of fit the rubric. I Am In A Tree, that could mean I'm somewhere high up, which to me would denote the fall guy. I mean, it's in the name, and also there were, you know, a lot of stunts that involved falling, obviously. I am in a tree emotionally, you know, meaning I'm sort of trapped in a situation. I, I you know, I'm feeling very anxious, like in Inside Out 2. I think even, you know, where is there a lot of trees? Well, in the Amazon with my mom, where she was studying spiders right before she died. But... I think that actually the best fit for I Am In A Tree, which animal famously likes to sit in trees? Monkey, as in Monkey Man by former Oscar nominee Dev Patel. Hmm. Place your bets now and don't blame me. <laughs> 